Hi, everyone. Hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, for the first time, someone, a close ally of William Ruto, a defender of William Ruto, whether it's right or wrong, the non senator, sometimes they are okay, at least for the first time, he has come out to speak the truth. He has come in in defense of Mama Ida Odinga's statement as far as the issue of regulating the church is concerned in this country. And for us to understand better where this narrative started from and where we are as of now, it is good, first of all, we begin with the statement from Mama Ida Odinga which turned into fodder for Kenya Kwanza, especially Kashago and William Ruto during campaign. This is what Mama Ida Odinga said about regulating the church. People must be trained so that we can get quality, even if there are many, we get quality of what they do. Some of the churches go into and think we are in a mad place. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say that, but let us have quality organization called churches. After that statement from Mama Ida Odinga, regarding the Shagwa, who is currently William Ruto's deputy, came out and turned that statement into political fodder to demonize Azimio La Umoja, make them look like they are satanic, and actually he told the Kenyans for the first time the Church of Christ have a candidate in the name of William Samway Ruto. So the church had no option but to vote for Ruto to defend the church and the Christianity in this country. This is the guy that listen to him shortly while he was getting Mama Ida Odinga's statement. Nadioniona yule bibi ya kitendawili, juzi. Alisema bwana yake akichukua uraishi atafunga makanisa ili anasema ni dogo dogo. Jana kwa hivyo wa Kristo mjue uchaguzi huu the church of Christ for once has a candidate ambaye ni mcha Mungu ambaye anaheshimu kanisa. After Gashagwa William Ruto again weighed in on that matter and uh, he spoke the same language that Gashagwa was speaking. Again, he was criticizing Mama Ida Odinga's statement just because he was looking for the votes and he wanted to mislead, misguide, and lie to the electorate so that he can win their support. Listen to William Ruto shortly, then we will go to Gerard Gay's statement, which contradict William Ruto and Rigathe Gashagwa. Ati wako na njama ya kufunga makanisa fulani Lakini mimi nataka ni wakikishie Inchi ya Kenya itazidi na kuwa ni inchi ambayo inamcha mungu Now after William Ruto's statement the election came, it passed We have a president in the name of William Ruto And now we were treated to what the whole situation in Shakahola is concerned. We are now, we are seeing people using the Bible coming in the name of church, just finishing a whole community, fasting to death. We have seen now, we are talking about more than 105 bodies that have been exhumed. People who have been rescued. And we are told we have more than 30 mass graves site in that Shakahola bush. That means we should anticipate for more than 100 bodies if then we have to go with the numbers that they have already collected earlier. And in those numbers, it tells you that in one grave they have been able to exhume maybe three, four, five bodies, and more than that. So after the Shakahola genocide, where now we have lost these precious lives, Senator Chirarege 
stood up in the Senate now to defend Mama Ida Odinga's statement. He is in agreement that the government got it wrong, Mama Ida Odinga was right, at least people needed to give her a chance and buy into what she was proposing. Listen to him shortly then from there, we're going to continue with this conversation. Tine. Mama Ida Odinga had made a comment about this. I think she might be right to the extent when she said this in May, in January 2022, that we need to relook at the registration, vetting the process of religious organizations in the country, Mr. Speaker. That is the position of the government, that we need to relook, Mr. Speaker, so that we can protect our people, Mr. Speaker. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I want to call upon Kenya Film Classification Board to be on the lookout to flag content, Mr. Speaker, that will always, the content, Mr. Speaker, because these people are preaching in our televisions, Mr. Speaker. I saw one saying, can you wave your phone? And by the end of this week, Mr. Speaker, we'll get 300,000. Mr. Speaker, it's very unfair. We must be told this flag, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Now, we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you, you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To the returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back this discussion. Now, Senator Chiranagay's statement is very clear. That means he is in agreement with Mama Ida Odinga and he don't subscribe to regarding the Shagwa's position to demonize Mama Ida or Raila Odinga or Azimio Said as matters of faith church is concerned. Senator Chiragay is against William Ruto's statement of criticizing Mama Ida Odinga's position as far as the issue of regulating the church is concerned. He's against William Ruto and he's telling these two people, look here, we were wrong. And you people, you were wrong. You lied to Kenyans in the name of getting their votes. Today we are in an awkward situation. William Ruto has been exposed that Akienda kwa njia yote watamona huyu ndio watu walikuwa nakufa kwa njia yake and he was not aware. In fact, people are viewing William Ruto today as the most incompetent president whereby more than 100 people can die in a country when he's not aware. Remember, this issue might turn out to, to maybe 200 or even 300 lives that have been lost. So it shows that Ruto, other president, is incompetent. A man who is a, uh, who, who has access to the intelligence of the country, he gets daily to day briefing from the intelligence. He's sitting with the security chiefs. So other president already is a compromised president. That is the position as of now. He's clueless. He's not aware of what is happening in the country. That means Kenyans should be worried with the person who is there as the president to lead them because he is not an informed president on a day-to-day -day happenings in this country. The security of the country is not on his fingertips. He's not hands-on on matters of security. So trusting him with real life is also another gamble. So in one word, I can describe Senator General Gay's statement as a request to William Ruto and Gashagwa to come and apologize to Kenyans. General Gay is simply telling William Ruto in other words, you are wrong, come and apologize. You got it wrong. General Gay is telling Gashagwa, when you are criticizing Mama Ida Odinga, you was wrong, come and apologize to those people who have lost their life, come and apologize to those families that have lost their beloved ones, come and apologize to Kenyans in the manner in which they have been treated to this whole situation. That is what Chiragay, because his statement is too late. There's nothing they can sort out as of, they cannot help us of, now people have died already. So his statement is coming too late. What if they had not criticized Mama Ida Odinga? Pastors like Mackenzie could have not taken the advantage that now we have people who are defending religious, they are defending the church, they are defending even the crooks. So they had that day. Why did he start the mass killing in the reign of William Ruto as the president? Because Ruto compromised them. 
He protected the goons. He protected criminals. He protected terrorists. Because he was looking for the votes. And he demonized Mama Ida Odinga. Ida Odinga and the Azimio team. So today, Christians have been treated to a drama, very bad drama, a very sad story, in the hands of someone the Shabba described as the Christian candidate, a God-fearing candidate. They say that the church has a candidate. So we are in the hands of a candidate perceived from the Christians. I don't know which Christians. So we can see now. Was Ruto defending Christians? Or was he defending goons? Was he defending the Church of Christ? Or he was defending terrorists? So today, we can confirm here that Mama Ida Odinga was right. Kenya Panda people are learning that they have now to speak, they have to speak the truth. And Terragay is coming out to say the truth. At least for the first time, he has separated politics from reality of life. For the first time, he's calling a spoon a spoon, but not a spade or a big spoon rather than a spade. Calling a spade a spade and a spoon a spoon. For the first time. Because they have been exposed, they have not anything they can explain to Kenyans. They have no any option. They have no escape route. They cannot use any kind of explanation to convince Kenyans about this issue. They defended it. They were wrong. They have been exposed. They have exposed Kenyans. They have exposed the church. They have exposed Christians. And our Muslim brothers are asking, what is happening in the church? We are also just asking one question. What if this was happening in a, in a mosque? What would they have treated that action to? You know. But now we are here. So the Shagwa has been exposed. Ruto has been exposed. Today, people are viewing these leaders as leaders who came out to protect bad characters in the society. Leaders who cannot listen to other voices of reasons. Mama Ida Odinga voice was voice for reason. But they demonized that voice and they treated us to this drama. I don't know your views. But let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video. Thank you.